Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have very interesting and in the same way this is very tricky question. We have m plus m plus m equal to m times m times m. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is like where is the question? m is equal to zero. We have zero plus zero plus zero equal to zero on the left side, and we have a product of three zeros is is equal to zero. And a lot of students say, why I need to solve it? We have m is equal to zero. But then I ask them, what about other solution? Are you sure we will have only one root? Let's try to solve it. Let's try to solve it completely. And let's try to solve it algebraically. Let's see what will happen on the left side. M plus M plus M. This is our 3M. Yeah, we add in three same elements. We have right here our 3M on the left side. So 3 three M on the left side. What do we have on the right side? On the right side, M times M equal to M square. And M square times M equal to M M cube. So equal to M M cube. And right now, let's look closely. This is, looks like a cubic equation. So let's change an order a little bit. Let's bring this m cube from our right side to left side. As a result, what do we have right here? 3m minus m cube equal to equal to 0. Okay, we can easily write it like that. Or in another way, we can easily write it as minus m cube plus 3m equal to equal to 0. Okay, so we can write this question like that. And moreover, we can multiply it by minus 1. And as a result, we will have a really great, really great cubic equation. So we have m cube minus 3m is equal to 0. So I hope you understand this step. We just change position a little bit into into steps. So as a result, we have um, a cubic equation, basic cubic equation. But how can we solve this cubic equation? Let's factor from here our m. Okay, let's do this right now. Let's factor from here our m our m. As a result, we have m and inside parentheses we have m square because we, we take this uh, one m from here. So we have m square minus right here we have 3 is equal to 0. And uh, how can you solve this type of question? First of all, let's look at this m square minus 3. How can you simplify it? How can we factor it? First of all, let's remember a really great school formula. And this formula looks like that. When we have a square minus b square, a square minus b square equal to, we have a minus b and times a a plus b. Okay, this is our basic school formula. And when we create this difference of squares right here, we can easily split it by two by two parentheses, product of two parentheses. So right now, let's try to look at this three. How can we write it? We can write this three as m right here in the beginning. And say parentheses, we can write it as m square minus, instead of this three, let's write square root of three square. Okay, this is the same three, but it helps us a lot. Because right now we're going to consider it as a difference of two squares. Okay, let's do this right now. We have uh, m square minus square root of three square. So as a result, we have m inside parentheses, we have m minus square root of three. Yeah, a, a, a m minus square root of three and inside another parentheses m plus <coughs> square root of three. Okay, equal to zero. And right now, a product of three elements. Right here we have variable, parentheses, and another parenthesis. And a product of two paren of three parentheses equal to zero. When this parenthesis is equal to zero, in our case this is not parenthesis, this is our variable, then this uh, variable equal to zero. So we have m first is equal to zero. When in other parentheses equal to zero, when m minus square root of three is equal to zero. From here, as you can see, m second is equal to square root of three. So as you can see, we find our second solution. We will check the solution a little bit later. And right now, let's look closely at this third parenthesis. So m plus square root of three is equal to is equal to zero. From here, our m third is equal to minus square root of three. And it looks like we find three solutions. We have three roots. Yeah, we have m first, m second, and m m third. But finally, let's check it. Maybe this is not a great root when we plug in it in, okay, in our question. So right now, let's check our our solution. First of all, let's rewrite. Let's rewrite our question. Let's write our check. Let's write our check. What do we have in the beginning? m plus m plus m equal to m times m and times m. Okay, this is our question and let's check it. Let's check first of all m first equal to zero. Okay, we checked it in the beginning. This is absolutely correct expression. So zero plus zero plus zero equal to zero times zero and times zero. This absolutely correct. Zero on the left side, zero on the right side. Root is <coughs> great for us. M first equal to zero. This is a great, a great root. What about the next one? Let's check m second equal to square root of three. Let's see what will happen there. Okay, so m second, m second is equal to square root of three. Let's check it. So as a result, what do we have? X square root of three 
plus square root of 3 and plus square root of 3 equal to square root of 3 times square root of 3 and times square root of 3. Let's see what will happen. What about this addition? Square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3. We add in three same elements. So as a result, if you're talking about, if you don't understand how can we add it, you can easily keep in mind that this is, for example, our a, this is our a, and this is our a. We add in a plus a plus a equal to 3a. So as a result, on the left side, we have 3, but not a. a is equal to square root of 3, so 3 square root of 3. On the right side, what do we have? We can easily multiply this to um, square root expression with square root sign. So as a result, we have square root of 3 times square root of 3 equal to 3 times 3, 3 times square root of 3. Okay, and it looks like a correct expression. So second root is also a great for us. Okay, really great. And right now, let's check our third, third root. Let's do this right now. So we have m third m third equal to minus square root of 3. Let's see what will happen. So minus square root of 3. Uh, plus minus square root of 3 and plus minus square root of 3 equal to minus square root of 3 times minus square root of 3 and times minus square root of 3. Okay, let's see what will happen right here. Absolutely the same thing. We add in three same elements, minus uh, square root of 3, minus square root of 3 and minus square root of 3. We will have minus 3 times square root of 3, minus 3 times square root of 3. On the right side, what do we have? When we multiply minus, 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 as a result, the final sign will be negative, okay? It will be uh, negative, and as a result, right here, square root of 3 times square root of 3 equal to 3, and we still have this one, so square root of 3 will write right here. And it looks like a correct expression, so minus 3 square root of 3 equal to minus 3 square root of 3. So as you can see, we looks like all this question. We have three, three roots, m first, m second, and m m uh, third. But right now a few notes from me. First of all, let's look closely at this graph. You can see this graph from, um, from Mass Library, but we can easily draw, uh, we can easily grab this question real quick, like we can easily sketch it a little bit. Because uh, if you look closer right here, we have m plus m plus m. This is our, uh, our uh, function y equal to 3m. And if you're talking about uh, this one, this is our m cube, this is our cubic function, so y first and y y second equal to cubic function, so we have m cube. If we sketch a little bit this graph, so as a result we have, looks like that, we have a cubic function, so something like that, and we have like our mm, linear function, so something like that, and as you can see, we have these points of intersection, so right here we have minus square root of 3, right here we have 0, and right here we have square root of 3. This is a, a quick sketch for me. You also saw a, a graph from a mass library, but what I want to tell to you, uh, just look at this uh, expression in the beginning. We have 3m equal to m cube. Let's rewrite it. So we have 3m equal to m cube. First of all, doesn't matter what, what maximum power do you have in your question, just know about fundamental theorem of algebra. Because if you look closely, the highest power, the maximum power, is third. So it means, according to a fundamental theorem of algebra, it means that right here we have three roots in total. Doesn't matter, complex, real number roots. So you need to know that when you solve this question by inspection, when you write uh, that m is equal to zero and that it, this is agreed that you can solve it by inspection. But you need to remember that third power tells you that we need to we need to know that right here we have three roots in total, and maybe we will have not one real roots. In this case, this is <clears throat> a clear and understandable case for us, because right here we have three real number roots. This is not that you forget like two complex roots and your teacher say, okay, if complex roots doesn't matter, you solve this question in terms of real number roots. This is one case. In this case, as you can see, we have three real number roots one, second, and third. This is a really big mistake when you write this question, uh, when you write that m is equal to uh, is equal to zero and that it. Don't forget about this approach, about fundamental theorem of algebra, and if you don't remember fundamental theorem of algebra, try to sketch real quick graph like that, like cubic equation, linear, and then you see, okay, maybe the, right here we have intersection, maybe right here we have intersection, so my inspection method is not good. So try to think uh, like that, okay? This is like a few thoughts about this question, so I hope you understand, I hope you understand my thoughts about this, about this part, because this is an extremely important part, and that's it. Let's write our final answer to this question. So our final answer, our final answer, we have m first is equal to zero, m second is equal to square root of 3 and m third is equal to minus square root of 3. Yeah, we have three 
three roots we proved it we um, give you a few thoughts about this about this approach so this is my explanation to this question uh, this is like easy question for st students or this is easy question from like ninth grade course i i don't know exactly what is this uh, class but sometimes i thought this uh, thesis type of question on uh, examination on entrance examination this is not that hard in, in this is not in a hard part of exam but uh, basic uh, a lot of students basically make this common mistake and they say that m is equal to zero but as you can see two more roots which is which is also really important thing in terms of math because when you have a, uh, have an equation you need to find all possible solutions sometimes a lot of students say okay you, you uh, for me enough is uh, for me a real number roots is absolutely enough and complex root you can easily solve it uh, at your home but uh, don't forget about real number roots because this is extremely important uh, part of mess so thank you everyone for your time i hope you understand my explanation i hope you understand my thoughts about this question wish you all the best in your life see you in the next videos and have a great day